The last installment of the Lumion tutorial series is now available. Remember to click the subscribe button to get the most up-to-date information on all of our videos. The series concludes with a tutorial on how to create 360-degree panoramic images of your project. With Lumion 360 Panorama Mode, you can create beautiful, 360-degree images as well as immersive experiences for VR headsets, such as the Oculus Go, Gear VR, and other VR headsets and devices. Click on the 360 Panorama button near the bottom right corner of the screen to enter Panorama Mode. Begin by taking a photo of a camera view in one of the empty photo slots. You can adjust the camera view to your eye level by using the controls over here. To save the camera view, click the Store Camera button. Lumion allows you to make up to 10 photographs. You can save time by reusing effects you've created in another photo. To do so, go to the photo and select the menu icon on the FX button. Select Copy Effect List from the pop-up menu. Now, return to the photo you just captured and repeat the steps, ending with a click on the Paste Effect List icon. To render all of your 360 panoramic images, click the Render button. The output quality, stereoscopic or not stereoscopic, can be set in the 360 Panoramas tab. Select the Gear VR or Oculus option to view the panoramic images on a VR headset. Otherwise, select Generic Device to view them on a tablet, mobile phone, or web browser. Finally, select the Image Resolution. Enter the name of your file and choose an export location. After the rendering process is complete, use your browser to load the images into any online 360 panorama viewer. You can now look in all directions by navigating with your mouse, left, right, up, and down. Choose the My Lumion tab to view your panoramic images in a different way. You can choose to send the outputs to a specific email address, give them a title, and select the output quality. To proceed, Click the Upload to My Lumion button. When it's finished, the images will be uploaded to My Lumion and you'll be able to view them in the browser. By clicking on the viewpoint icon, you can switch between different panoramic images. This concludes the final installment of the Lumion tutorial series. By subscribing to our channel, you can keep an eye out for our next video. We'll see you again in our next video.